the running of the state regional championship will highlight the Menangle card on Saturday night. I thought the race looks to be matching two between Gordons Bay and Brooklyn Bridge, both in fine form and both drawing well. Brooklyn Bridge in two, Gordons Bay has drawn a little bit wider in five, but that pair should fight out the finish. The free for all looks an absolute cracker where Bondi lockdown fitted for one run back from a spell which resulted in a very stylish win, and the Nullarbor winner. Better zip it returns to racing with Cam Hart in the sulky for trainer Jason Grimson. That's certainly going to be an outstanding event from start to finish. Now looking for specials on the car, you're going to kick off the opening event with Rocker Coco's in good form. He's won his past two in fine fashion. I think he should be the one to beat in race number one. Moving over to race two and here, Three Rivers also for Luke and Belinda McCarthy. Now Three Rivers has had four starts since coming from Queensland for the team. Two of those have resulted in a win and last time out was probably one of his better efforts beaten and knows by the very classy speak the truth, a very highly regarded performer from Queensland under the care of Shannon Price. So three rivers, despite the fact that he has drawn a little bit wide and will be confronted by a tough assignment, I think he can get away with the money in race two. And moving over to race seven on the card and the Brad Hewitt train and a love fitter for a very good running here last week behind Polly put the kettle on, strips fitter, drops back to a suitable grade and a love and she does have the class to take out race seven on the program. Moving over to Milton, also on Saturday night. Two specials. I'm going to kick off the first in race four with number four. We better believe it for Maddie Craven. Now, that particular stable is high flying at the moment, and we better believe it. A very consistent performer has the right draw. I think we'll be very competitive. And going over to race seven, and where's Seggy? Despite the fact that he has drawn the back row in what looks to be a very open event, I think he should be of value, and where Seggy will do me as far as the on top selection in race seven. So, my thoughts to both Club and Angle and Milton on Saturday night. Until next time around, good punning.